Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. You guys know that in most of my videos, I always use what I have. I don't want to spend extra money when I don't need to, and I tend to use the same paint color over and over again until I run out. Of course, there are occasions when I have to buy new paint because I don't have the colors I need. For example, when I did the garden makeover, I had to buy new paint, but actually I ended up using up almost all of them. You might also have some leftover paint laying around in your garage, and if you don't know what to do with it, then keep on watching, because I'm going to give you some tips how to use up leftover paint. I'm not an artist, but I like to create wall art, which I did before on this channel. You can simply use leftover paint to create abstract art, super easy, and the results are amazing. All you need is a canvas, some brushes, and you can create affordable art, which you can even sell, so you can even make money in the process. I will link the video in the description where I show you how you can do this too. Depending on how much paint you have left over, you can paint a full accent wall, or if you don't have a lot of paint left, then you can create an allocated area. Using contrasting colors will highlight spaces in the room for an activity like reading, studying, or relaxing. Trims and doors don't have to be white, you can create an accent door which can look fun and interesting. Same goes for trims like baseboards, window, and door frames. You can add tons of contrast and character to your rooms. I show you guys multiple times on my channel how to paint furniture, how to upcycle an old furniture, and I always use the leftover paint. Sometimes you do need to use primer depending on the material that the furniture is made from, but you can have a new piece of furniture by simply painting it. You can also add new hardware to make it look chic and unique. A few weeks ago I shared a video on how to make headboards, and one of them was a wood headboard which I painted with again leftover paint. You can create cheap headboards by using some wood and paint. Replacing cabinets are expensive and time-consuming, so if you have some leftover paint, then maybe it's a good idea to use it to give a new look to your kitchen cabinet. It's really an affordable way to make it look new, and the transformation can be huge. Again, it's a good idea to change the hardware too. I'm sure you have plant pots and vases that look really plain. You can give them a fresh look by painting them. You can even add patterns and stripes. And also you can paint your picture frames, it will add a variety of tones and textures to your wall. If you have some wood boards laying around, you can even make serving trays and paint them with fun colors like I did in a previous video. I just use leftover paint to create colorful trays. Another fun thing to paint is wooden spoons. Paint the handles of kitchen utensils and they can instantly match any decor. You can really show your artistic side by painting a mural on the wall. But even if you are not an artist, you can just paint an abstract mural. Those don't need to be perfect. I'm also planning to do a large mural in my house, so stay tuned for that. Fabrics are in the first place our mind goes when thinking about paint jobs. You can paint your outdoor rugs, doormats, they usually handle paints well. But you can always paint patterns on your curtains, pillows, and lampshades. If you really don't feel like doing any of these things, then you can always donate your paint. Or ask Graham, maybe your family or friends need some paint. I hope this video gave you guys some tips how to use up your leftover paint. Please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye!